All right, Trojans, welcome to Trojan TV. First up, we got some highlights from the boys' soccer game at Pearland. It was a good game. It rained, but we, we got it. the win. We feel like about today's game. I'm really proud of the boys. The boys did a great job moving the ball. Are y'all really recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> moving the ball, taking care of business. They played with with their hearts. They never gave up. Uh, I see uh, a lot of great improvements that were done over the off season, and I'm looking forward to this great year. Oh, great Woo! speech! Great speech! Come on and support. All right, Trojans, next up, we got a segment about the history of Christmas. Christmas, probably the quintessential holiday. You think holiday, you think Christmas. So what's the deal with Christmas? Well, here's an extremely simplified version of Christmas's whole deal. Some fellas named Joseph and Mary showed up in a city, and the inn is full. So naturally, they're offered a stable to stay in, and Mary gives birth to this fellow named Jesus. It's kind of a big deal, you know, son of God. But yeah, that's where Christmas comes from. Nowadays, Christmas is more strongly associated with gift giving, Christmas trees, lights, and Mariah Carey. Because of all the gift giving, Christmas is a significant event and a major sales event for retailers and businesses. Pretty neat. If you wonder where the word Christmas comes from, it's a shortened version of Christ's Mass. Fun fact, in the year 1038, the word for Christmas was this monstrosity. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. And in 1131, it was a slightly more sensible I'm still not going to say that. Anyways, the Christ part comes from the Greek translation for the word Messiah, and Mass is an old-timey word for church-related gatherings. And for the one person trying to figure out how Christmas became Xmas, it's, it's me, I'm the one person, it's because the Greek letter chi used to spell that Greek word from earlier, it looks like an X. Next up, everyone's favorite part, gift giving. I mean, who doesn't love free stuff? Anyways, to no one's surprise, we can turn back to religion for this one. Gift giving is most likely related to the fact that the three wise men gave gifts to Jesus when he was born. Off topic, but could you imagine being Joseph? Like, like your wife mysteriously gets pregnant, and not only are you not the father, but three like random guys show up with gifts for the baby when it's born? Anyways, that's the third time I've said anyways, if you're wondering. Gift giving is also related to the gift giving of ancient Romans during the winter solstice for another holiday. All of that has been heavily abridged in the interest of time and my sanity. Lastly, due to the fact that the Christmas page on Wikipedia, my source for past, present, and future holiday segments, has a controversy segment, and that sounds funny, so I'm going to mention it here. First, during the 17th century, the Puritans had laws against celebrating Christmas because they hate fun for some reason. That's not the actual reason. Also during the 17th century, apparently there are wild in during the 17th century, the atheist cult of reason banned Christmas religious services, and the Three Kings cake that I didn't even know existed was renamed to the Equality Cake. In the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany, Christmas was banned and celebrations were prohibited. That shouldn't surprise anyone. In America, we're arguing over whether or not it's offensive to say Christmas as opposed to the politically correct holidays. Personally, I don't think anyone cares, but apparently people really care such as the American Family Association and Liberty Council boycotting retailers demanding that they use the word Christmas instead of holidays in advertisement. Zoinks. They've had multiple boycotts over the years. And most hilariously, in 2015, Starbucks made Christmas-themed cups that were solid red and only had the Starbucks logo on them. Naturally, some guy named Joshua on Facebook got real mad and accused Starbucks of hating Jesus. Yikes. 
So yeah, now you know some random things about Christmas that you'll forget by the end of the day. See ya. Next up, Trojans, we got some highlights from the swimming meet at Phillips Gym. What's up, Trojans? So what we're watching is uh, footage from a swimming meet that was held at Phillips Gym. And this is actually the first time that swimming has been a part of Trojan TV. So we're really happy about that. And uh, who's swimming in this specific video is a freshman. His name is Andreas. He actually got first in his events, which is what we're watching right now. Finally, Trojans, we got some highlights of the varsity and JV basketball team playing against Wisdom. Marcus and I wish everybody in South Houston High School a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, my name is Evelyn and I want to wish South Houston High School a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May this Christmas season bring you happiness and joy to you and your family. My name is Oscar and I want to wish South Houston High School a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Jocelyn and I want to wish South Houston High School a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Diego. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Cindy and I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, my name is Jacob and I want to wish all of South Houston High School a very Merry Christmas. May joy and happiness come to your families. Hi, my name is Alizé and I want to wish South Houston High School a very Merry Christmas and nothing but joy and happiness to your family. I'm Rafael and I wish South Houston High School a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 
Hi, I'm Gabriel. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Tristan Marshall here from Georgia TV, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Angel Rivas, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And may this season bring nothing but joy and happiness to you and your family. My name is Jeremiah Horton, and I want to wish Southeastern High School a very Merry Christmas. May this season bring joy and happiness to you and your families. All right, Trojans, thanks for watching Trojan TV. We'll see you all next time. Y'all have a good break. Happy holidays and Happy New Year.